Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tech Paper. Hopefully, you're having a great day. Deal here, your host. And in this video, I'm about to recommend you the best budget Chromebooks that you can buy out there. And that is the reason why we have this Chromebook with us today. Before starting the list, this list will be valid throughout the 2022 and it will also be valid in the first quarter of the 2023. So, if you're watching this video on a later date, make sure to check out the description. Most of the Chromebooks that are available out there and I'm talking about the latest ones will do just fine for almost anybody that's going to purchase a Chromebook because these Chromebooks are not an alternative to a Windows laptop for most of the users who are looking to perform heavy duty tasks. And with that being said, if you're going to buy a Chromebook, there are few considerations that you should keep in the mind and the first among them is the performance and by performance I mean you should consider their RAM, ROM and their processor. And along with that, you should also consider the screen type, the size and the technology that it uses. And last but not the least is the battery size or the battery capacity. And if you're watching this video, do not worry because we've already taken all of the points into the consideration before recommending them to you. Let's just jump on to the best Chromebooks under budget. The first in our list is a Lenovo's Chromebook Flex 5 which is a 13 inch best overall Chromebook that you can get out there. At 13.3 inches, the screen is big enough, but not too big that you should be concerned. It has a full HD LED touch screen and Intel's Ultra HD graphics. The CPU is made by Intel and it is a Core i3 11th generation processor. And along with that, there's a backlit keyboard that is easy to use and the touch screen already comes with a stylus. There's an 8 GB of DDR4 RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. And I think this storage should be enough for most of the users out there. But then there is this micro SD card slot available if you want to expand the storage further. The two-in-one design of the Chromebook Flex 5 helps it stand out regarding the media and creativity. The Chromebook comes in all aluminum shell and holds two USB Type-C ports, one USB-A port, a headphone jack and a micro SD card port as I've already mentioned. Speaking about the pros, I just love the design of Chromebook and with that, it comes in an aluminum shell which makes it stronger. Not that it is stronger, it is lightweight at the same time. Both of the USB Type-C ports are capable of charging. Speaking about the cons, if you're concerned about the battery life, it provides a battery life of up to 8 plus hours, but considering the latest Chromebooks, it is less than the benchmarks that industry has set. That's around 10 hours. So that's the only downside of the Chromebook Flex 5. Number two in the list is the Acer's Chromebook 514. And do not let its design fool you around. The Acer's Chromebook 514 has several essential features that makes it a good choice. It has a frame made of aluminum, a touch screen with full HD resolution, a backlit enabled keyboard, and these features makes it possible for you to work anytime, day or night. The battery lasts much longer than a typical work or a school day, around 12 hours on a single charge. And the best feature of the Chromebook is that it comes with the Corning Gorilla Glass packed touchpad, which just adds luxury into the touch. Under the hood is a quad-core Intel Celeron processor with 4 GB of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. And all of these features come bundled in a weight of 3.09 pounds. Now speaking about the pros, it definitely has a solid design, not the modern generation design, but it is a solid design. And with that, it also has this Corning Gorilla glass backed trackpad, which feels just premium. And not only that, but the third in the list would be the longer battery life that it offers. It offers up to 12 hours of battery life, which is more than the standard of the Chromebooks that are available out there. And speaking about the cons, the only one that we have found is the outdated processor. Our third recommendation is manufactured by Samsung and it is called Samsung Chromebook 4 Plus. There's no doubt that Samsung is one of the pioneers when it comes to the screens and the Chromebook 4 Plus brings the brilliance at a more affordable price point. The thin bezel around the 15.6 inches full HD Plus screen powered by Intel's Ultra HD 600 graphics definitely pulls you into the device. Since the battery can last up to 10.5 hours, you should be able to work from almost anywhere during the day. Chromebook 4 Plus 
comes with the Intel Celeron N4020 processor and it has 4GB of RAM with 64 gigs of internal storage. And the Chromebook comes with the two USB Type-C ports and one USB-A ports just in case if you want to connect older devices or a device through USB. Even though the Chromebook has Bluetooth 4.0 which is an older generation of Bluetooth but to compensate that it comes with a headphone jack and micro SD card slot to expand the storage. Speaking of the pros, the battery has a long life, having a small shape and being light for its size and overall it definitely provides excellent performance considering the display that is just outstanding. And the next book is from ASUS and it is the ASUS Chromebook C523. This option is a best budget alternative to other expensive Chromebook from ASUS because the frame is made up of aluminium and overall design is simple and clean and its design resembles quite a lot with the Apple's MacBook Air. The best thing about the device is a 15.6 inches screen with full HD resolution and you can also buy a version of HD ready resolution for a lower price. There is also a variant that comes with the less resolution at a far lesser price. Hardware wise you get an Intel Celeron N3350 processor which is a typical central processing unit found in cheap Chromebooks. You also get a 64 gigs of eMMC storage which is not the best but there is a micro SD card to expand the storage just in case you are in need of it. It has a 4 GB of RAM and speaking about the ports it comes with two USB-A connector, two USB-C ports and also a 3.5 mm headphone jack and a Bluetooth of course. Speaking of the pros, it has an excellent screen, strong and well-built appearance and it offers outstanding performance. And speaking of the cons, because of the outdated processor, it consumes more battery and it offers the battery life of up to 7 hours which is less than the benchmark of 10 hours. The next recommendation is from Acer and it is a book that is only 11.5 inches so it is going to be a great pick if you are a person who wants to carry a really lightweight and a small Chromebook along with you wherever you go. And it is Acer Chromebook Spin 311. The Chromebook Spin 11 is one of the devices that are made by the company that can be used in most ways. It has a small 11.6 inches screen that comes with a good trackpad. Even though Spin 311 is made up of plastic all the way through, it has brushed finish that makes it look good and feel more expensive. Speaking about the specification, it comes with an Intel Celeron N4020 processor which runs at 1.1 GHz and this processor comes with Intel's HD graphics. Spin 311 comes with 4 GB of RAM and only 32 GB of internal storage which is not expandable because there is no micro SD card slot because of the small form factor. Speaking about the ports, this device comes with a USB-C port, one USB-A port, a headphone jack. Speaking of the pros, in a small form factor it offers excellent performance and it also has a comfortable keyboard. Spin 311 comes with thick bezels and that might be a problem for a few users out there. The Chromebook that I'm talking about is Lenovo 300E Chromebook or Lenovo Chromebook 300E and it is an entry level affordable Chromebook. The whole body of the budget Chromebook is made up of plastic but the Lenovo 300E is a convertible notebook that can work as a tablet too. It comes with the AMD's A-series dual core processor which might be a letdown but it should be able to run anything inside a Chrome OS without any problem. Speaking about the specification, this Chromebook has a 4 gigs of RAM and it comes with 32 gigs of internal storage but luckily this Chromebook offers an expansion slot unlike the earlier recommendation so you can expand the storage with a micro SD card. Not only that but there are a lot of other ports that are available. This Chromebook is an entry level all in all device that you should consider. Speaking about ports, this device has one USB-C port, one USB-A port, a headphone jack, an HDMI slot, this micro SD card slot. So that is pretty much it about the specifications. Now coming back to the pros part, this Chromebook generally offers satisfactory performance and with a convertible design, it can be used as a tablet. That is definitely a pro. As far as the cons are concerned, the dual core processors are not that efficient and powerful and also the thick bezels on this Chromebook might be a downside. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it about all the best budget Chromebooks that are available out there for the time being. 
If you have any query, do let me know in the comments below. And if you want to ask about any recommendation, do let me know that as well. I'll make sure to answer anything that you have in your mind. And links to all of the products are in the description along with the article link that we will keep updating throughout the year. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out. And before quitting the video, do not forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to TechPay4. See you in the next one.